Uh, in this video, I'll be talking about uh, the reinforcement of a 2A slab at the site. Okay, so let me first tell you what a 2A slab is. Alright, so let us consider this slab panel. Uh, these four are the columns, alright. So uh, let the longer side be LY and the shorter side be LX. So if the ratio of the longer side to the shorter side, that is uh, LY by LX, is less than or equal to 2, then it's called a 2A slab. Alright, for example, if LY is equal to 5 and LX is equal to 3, the ratio that is 5 by 3 is less than 2 alright so in that case it's a 2 way slab alright so okay so I got a, a slab here this is a full floor slab and I'll be focusing on uh, this panel alright okay so as you can see uh, here uh, so we got like uh, two sides right so the longer side is 4.430 meters and the shorter side is 3.89 meters okay the reinforcement which is placed along the shorter side that is uh, these reinforcement uh, is the main reinforcement while the reinforcement which is placed in the other side that is along this uh, longer side uh, is the uh, distribution reinforcement so we got a main reinforcement and the distribution reinforcement all right okay so let me first show you the main reinforcement uh, here you can see that uh, this bar goes straight straight at the bottom all right so bottom and gets cranked here all right so at 800 from the face of this beam and the adjacent bar here is straight here and uh, gets cranked over here and goes into the other slab so we have to uh, crank the bars because at the edge uh, there is a negative movement and to contract that uh, movement the core says that at least 50% of the reinforcement uh, uh, at the middle must go to the top at the edge. You can crank your bar uh, varying from L by 3 to L by 7. Here uh, this crank has been made at up to at a distance of L by uh, 5 from face of this beam and the bar goes into other slab up to a distance of L by 4 alright so this is L by 4 so L of this panel alright and in this case this is L by 5 right so but the L is used of this slab alright so same goes for uh, this bar so this bar has been cranked at a distance of L by uh, 5 L by 5 alright so L of this panel so same goes for this bar right so this is L by 4 and L is used uh, sorry L by 5 and L is used of this panel and uh, the bar goes into other slab up to a distance of L by 4 and L is used of this panel alright okay so uh, this is how the slab is designed and uh, detailed and now we'll see how the slab is placed at the side Okay, so I'm at the site now and there is a 2 slab right in front of me. Alright, so I'll begin from here. So it is a mess like structure at the middle. Okay, so let us see closely. As you can see, uh, these two bars are the distribution bars which are at the top and these two bars are the uh, main bars which are at the bottom. Alright, okay, so the main bar, so this bar is, so this bar is cranked here and uh, this bar is straight right so these two are the main bars okay so this one is the crank and this one is the straight and the crank bar goes all the way into the other slab up to a distance of l by 4 while the straight one so this one the straight bar is terminated right at the beam all right okay so uh, same goes for the distribution bars that is uh, one bar is cranked so this, this bar is cranked and uh, this bar is straight all right so the bar uh, which is cranked at uh, this end is straight at the other end right and the bar which is straight at uh, that end is cranked as you can see in this video all right okay so same goes for the main bar that is uh, this bar which is cranked at uh, this end is straight at the other end and the uh, this bar which is straight here is cranked at the other end all right Okay, so this is a full view of uh, two-way slab uh, reinforcement. Okay. All right, you can see uh, the bars are cranked and the alternate bars are cranked and straight. All right. Okay. 
So this is the you know best way that I can show you the reinforcement. You know, I tried other methods, but uh, you know they were not as good as uh, this one because uh, it's a big area and it is very hard to capture with the camera. Okay, so so the uh, transverse uh, bars that you can see are the binders that are used to bind the uh, crank bars. All right, so it's a two-way slab reinforcement. That's a shear wall, and uh, that is a beam. All right. Okay, so let us see. Okay, so you can see the alternate uh, straight and crank bars of uh, main as well as the distribution. So, so they are the distribution bars, right? So you can see the distribution bars, cranked and straight, right? And there you can see the main bars, cranked and straight. Always remember that uh, the main bar is placed below while the distribution bar is placed above. And uh, the main bar is placed along the shorter side while the distribution bar is placed along the longer side. And the alternate bars are cranked. That's it. Alright, so the crank crank distance and the crank length, uh, you know uh, how much it is. Alright, so I have already uh, discussed about it. Okay, so this is how the reinforcement is placed and those are the uh, core blocks. So that is for leaving 25mm cover for slab. Oh, generally, sorry, 20mm cover for slab. Alright, so this is how the reinforcement of a slab is placed at the site. Okay, so hope this video was helpful. Thank you.